Hello everyone, Neff here, and today we have an update video, yes indeed. And first off, just want to th say thank you to everyone who commented on the first video. The response was awesome, so yeah, thank you guys. Um, and apart from that, we have an update. So first off, we have Sky, indeed. Yes, it's quite basic right now, but still looks better than black. Yeah. We also have Fog, you can kind of see in the background there. Things fitting in and out, indeed. And also with that, I've done some fancy stuff called Frustrum Culling. And what that allows us to do is actually to... Basically, it makes things faster. Yeah, that's that's as much as you need to know. <laughs> no more is needed. And apart from that, I finally put the block system in place now. And to be honest, it uses a bit of black magic. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but it works. <laughs> and I get it, but it's like... There's times when you code stuff and you're like, That works? <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, that works now. And what that basically means is that... It's kind of hard to explain, but... Um, Basically now, every time I switch worlds, each world actually creates its own blocks, like its own unique block IDs. And so every world can have different blocks with different, like, you know, properties. For example, you saw the last video, everything was just tinted. This video, if I go to world, say, number two, and yes, you can see the sky is tinted as well. And we have these goldy blocks, yes? But now that we've gone here, these blocks now exist. So if I go back to the first world, I can actually scroll along and I can actually place those blocks. See? So yeah. So this block here and this block here have different IDs, they're different blocks. And with that, I mean, it's kind of pointless with grass, but I mean, in the future, I could do lots with that. So it'd be really awesome. I mean, you imagine you go to one world, you see a cool block that would make a nice house or something, or you bring it back here, and yeah. Like, you know, you find a nice rock, then you come back to your home world, you start building it in your house, and then you realize that wasn't a rock, it was actually an egg. And yes, stuff like that will actually happen. For example, different planets will have different temperatures, so, for all you know, that rock could be in, like, an ice world where it normally takes ages to hatch, but when you bring it back to your warm world, it hatches within, like, two days. And spreads. <laughs> yeah. But apart from that, um, I mean, just, I've done a lot of other stuff in the background. A lot of the stuff I've done this week, you won't actually see. It's mainly, kind of, engine stuff and cleanup and that sort of thing, but, yeah. The game's in a really good place now. I mean, obviously, world gen is, like, the next thing, but, uh, I don't want to think about world gen. <laughs> I just... The world part of this code is the one part I just don't like. Everything else is wonderful, though. The block system is just wonderful. And apart from that, a bunch of people had questions from the last video. I just want to answer some of them here. And a lot of people are interested in how space travel is going to work. And so, yeah, I mean, one thing I would say is, first off, a lot of games, there are a lot of block games out there that do kind of physical face, or <laughs> physical face, physical space travel. And, a lot, like, you know, this game obviously looks very similar, but there is a big difference. In fact, the difference is that there will be practically no physical, you know, flight in this game with ships. That might sound weird, but actually, that's not the point of this game. I mean, what you'll do in this game is you'll make a ship, like, you'll actually build it yourself out of blocks. And then when you pilot that ship, you will be in space. And then the point of the game is basically not, like, you know, piloting your ship around and that sort of thing. Like, you just tell the computer where you want to go. The actual point is how long it's going to take you to get there. Because in this game, with the story of this game, you're supposed to have crash landed. And you don't have an FTL drive. So you can't, like, that's the point of the game, is to rebuild an FTL drive. Uh, uh, words, yes. An FTL drive. But, um, so without that, you're basically going on fast sublight engines. And the idea behind that is that, say, if you, you know, go to the moon, it might take you a day in game time to get there. Which would be grand, apart from the fact that there's all kinds of hazards in space, and it'll be all random. So you can just be coasting along, everything is fine, and then all of a sudden a little spore hits your windscreen. Doesn't seem like a big deal. But then it keeps spreading and spreading, and then all of a sudden there's things crawling all over it, and then they're in your ship, and then you're shooting things with laser guns. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm going for. And of course, the fun part is that you could technically bring that back to your home planet, if you weren't careful. Although, of course, if it was outside the ship, it would burn up in the atmosphere. So yeah, all that kind of stuff is actually going to happen in this game. It's going to be... It's weird. It's actually... It's it's built like Minecraft, but it's more of a sci-fi geek kind of game. <laughs> it's weird. But um, yeah... So apart from that, um, people are wondering how the mob generation is going to work. The mob generation is actually kind of similar to the blocks. Because as I said, like these worlds right now are preset, but in the future, every time you make a new world, it's random. It'll randomly dynamically create new blocks. And so every time you go to a new world, you actually get more blocks in the game. That's how it'll work. And it's all random, so even I won't know what's going to end up in there. And the mobs will be kind of, you know, will be the same deal. Every single thing about the mobs will be random. But at the same time, I will try to make it make sense. So, for example, the mobs will be built out of preset parts. So, say if you go to... Actually, I'm going to switch worlds here. Say if you're on this world, you go to the freaky white world where everything looks like the Matrix. If you go here, when you go here the first time, the world will make a whole bunch of new blocks. 
and it'll also make a whole bunch of new mobs. So it'll say, like, for each mob, it'll go, okay, pick a torso piece at random. Here's, a, like, a, a kind of an upright torso piece. Now, with that, it would only make sense to have, say, this many legs, like, say, two, four, or maybe, I don't know, more in a weird arrangement, or tentacles, I don't know. But anyway, it would sort of make sense. So there's kind of rules, but it will be random. And so you'll get thousands of combinations, but hopefully most mobs should actually look like they make sense. <laughs> like they shouldn't just be floating for no reason and things like that. But, um, and at the same time, it's not just visually. All of their abilities and everything will come from the parts that they have. And they will also have special properties, like just like what they're made out of, what they eat and that sort of thing, and their behaviors, even personalities. So it sounds complicated. Actually, the system behind it will be very simple, but it will produce a huge amount of combinations. So it should be really fun. Because as I said, you go to any new world, you have no idea what you're going to run into. Could be any kind of materials, mobs. I mean, stuff that looks like sand could melt you. I mean, it'll just be fun. <laughs> so yeah. And apart from that, a lot of people offer to help with textures. To be honest, I prefer to do them all myself. I don't say that to be an asshole. I just, personally, the point of this game is to make everything by myself. And I think I can, so I'd really prefer to. And plus I'm kind of paranoid about copyright and that sort of thing, so yeah. And apart from that, some people said the texture should be higher resolution. I actually like 16x16. Sixteen sixteen. Don't know about you guys, but I like it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you might notice it's getting darker in the background. In fact, it looks weird on this planet. I'll go to, ooh, desert world. <laughs> yes, that's apparently a cactus. But um, you'll notice that on some planets, in fact, where is that other planet? Yeah, this one, right? This planet is kind of barren. It's supposed to be close to the sun and it's all burnt out and that sort of thing. But the special thing about this planet is that this planet, the day, like... It only takes about two hours in game time for the like for an entire day. So you should actually see, over time, things are getting darker. Because I actually have a full day-night cycle in the game now. Now, it's pretty basic, but it works. So yeah. <laughs> and the whole point is, as I said, in, like all planets will have... Everything about them will be, you know, unique. So like, this planet has a 24-hour day. This one, I think, is 36. Um, this one is 2, which is kind of silly. And this one, I don't remember. I think it's 48, actually. I think it just stays white here for ages. <laughs> so, yeah. And you can see the time, but there is, like, hours and minutes and stuff. And basically, a second of real time is a minute in-game and that sort of thing, you know. But, yeah. I think that's pretty much it for now. I uh, just want to give you guys an update. I'm going to do these videos kind of weekly now, just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on. Also, I might do kind of Q&A videos during the week, because I have too many questions here to go through. And so, yeah. So, if you guys have any questions... Leave them in the comments down below. I shall try to answer them. And if I don't answer them immediately, it means I'm probably going to make a video. So don't worry about that. And apart from that... Um, actually, one other thing I want to check while I'm here. I noticed recently a lot of my subscribers are actually from Ireland, which is surprising. And I mean, 80% are still from the US, but I mean, it's still a lot of people. So I'm kind of curious. If you're Irish, leave a comment. Let me know. I must know. Indeed. <laughs> Anyways, I think I have yammered enough. And yeah. And now I'm just showing off all the blocks, because we visited all those planets, so we have tons and tons of different blocks. <laughs> like we have bluegrass, we have desert stuff, we have other stuff. Yes. Oh yeah, there's two jungles, so... Yeah, indeed. You get the picture. <laughs> but this is how it's going to go down. Right, but I think that's it for now. I have talked way too long. This video is far too long. So guys, until next time, a good day!